iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to I Teach Geek. I'm your host Rashad, and I'm here to show you how to install LAMP on Ubuntu. If you don't know what LAMP means, it's Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Okay. First thing I'm going to do here is make a root password. Right now I have a clean install of Ubuntu, so I'm going to make a root password. You don't have to make a root password. You can use sudo in the command line, but to make things go a little bit more smoother and faster, I'm just going to go ahead and make a root password so I can don't have to always put in you sudo. So if you want to make if you haven't made a root password already, you want to go ahead and go to the terminal. Type in terminal. All right, we're going to go ahead and put sudo pass wd root. It's going to ask you for the password that you have right now on the, the account you have. Whatever you use to log into this username, you go ahead and put this one in. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make the root password. So go ahead and put the, the password you want for the root. All right, once that's done, you want to go ahead and press up. You want to go right in front of root. Put a dash U space. Press enter. All right. Now you've successfully changed the password. Now let's go ahead and log out and sign in as root. All right, when you get into the login again, we want to go ahead and press other. You put root. Then put the root password you just made for it. All right, now we want to go back to the terminal. All right, once you're back in the terminal, we want to go ahead and find out what our IP address is. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to make this server static because we don't want our web server to change its IP address. We want to make sure it's always the same IP address so we always can reach it. So let's go ahead and put an if config in there. Alright, this gives us all our IP address. Go ahead with your mouse. Let's go ahead and highlight all this. We're going to right click, We're going to copy. Alright, now we want to put nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces. We're going to press enter. All right. Now we're going to come in here right now. And we want to go right click and we're going to paste. Now let's go back up to the top. Let's go ahead and delete this. We're going to put static. All right, for the next couple things, I'm going to go ahead and type it out, and I'll be back once it's finished typed out, and you can see it so we can save time. All right, so we, on address, you want to put your IP address. On gateway, you want to go ahead and put the IP address of your router. All right. Subnet mask should be right down there. It tells you that your mask is right there. And then for network and broadcast, that's your IP range. Mine starts at zero and ends at 255. All right, after this, we want to go ahead and delete all this at the bottom. 
once again this is not mandatory but this is to stop your IP address from changing just to keep it a static IP address this will, the web server will work either way okay let's go ahead and save this you want to put control X and then you want to say yes and then press enter and it's saved all right next thing we want to go ahead and do we want to do an AP git install tacit so we go ahead and put AP git install like I said before if you didn't do the root you would just put sudo in front of apt git we're gonna press Y okay once that finished we're gonna put that same command in we're gonna put install we can put lamp that server make sure you spell it right so you put All right, this should pop up. Okay, it's actually for to make a root password for my SQL. So go ahead and make a root password for this. All right, it's finished installing. Um, something I forgot to tell you after we did the, uh, change the IP address from being static, from being dy dynamic to static, we want to go ahead and reset. The network settings so you go ahead and put this command in go ahead and put that command in then go ahead and press enter then we go ahead and ping something so ping ping a website to see if that that you have internet connection and I'm pinging so you go ahead and press Control C to stop pinging. All right, now let's go in MySQL and check that out. I'm gonna show you a couple things in MySQL. So to enter MySQL, we want to put this command in. Go ahead and put this command in. So press Enter, and it's actually for your password. Remember that root password we had made for the MySQL during that install. Go ahead and put that in. All right, now we're into MySQL. Um, if you don't know the command line well, you can install P my PHP admin, and uh, I have a tutorial on that also. Look out for that one if you want to install that. But if you're familiar with the command line, you go ahead and do things in here. I create a table real quick to show you what I'm talking about. So if you want to create a table, you can go ahead and put. I'm sorry, it's create database. And I'm called ITG Geek. There we go. Now you go ahead and put show databases. And there goes shows all, all the databases you have. Right now I just have ITG Geek and the two default databases they give you. So that's how you do the database. And to get out of there, to get out of this, you just do slash Q to get out and it says bye and I have more further in depth instructions on my PHP admin about the database in MySQL now let's go ahead and see if our Apache server is working so that's the whole point of this whole tutorial to, show, to make the Apache server work so let's go ahead and check it out to test to see if Apache server is working we're going to go ahead to Firefox or whatever browser you want And in here we're gonna put localhost and just press enter and there it goes it said it works and just to let you know the directory where this is at so you can change and put whatever web pages you want to put in here you want to go ahead and minimize this 
and you want to go to your your folder home folder go on a file system go to var www there goes that HTML file that just said it works if you want to check it out you right click you can open up the text editor and there it goes it works and there it goes the contents so go ahead and play around with it put some new web pages in there um, if you don't if you don't know where your PHP stuff is it's actually in file system and you want to go to etc and there goes your PHP that's where your PHP INI file is at and all your PHP stuff so you can change stuff in your PHP configuration and also for your Apache configuration is also in here and it's right in here and this is how you configure stuff in Apache so this is just a basic install I'm your host Rashad thanks for watching